least I know my luggage made it to Hong Kong. Okay, made it to the hotel. <laughs> This is the bathroom and my dad has already been here for a night so he has already lived in this but nice. And now that the sun is up, here is a little view of the outside of our view from the hotel. Pretty cool. Hello from Hong Kong. I finally made it after a very long journey because Cathay Pacific canceled the original flight on Tuesday morning and basically ended up rescheduling it for Wednesday night after several delays. And so I got in around 4.30 this morning to the hotel and met up with my dad and I'm just very glad to be here. First thing I did was take a shower. It was so nice and I didn't really sleep at all since I got here, but the sun has come up. It's around 6.30 a.m. and our plan is to go to the Victoria Victoria Peak to catch it early before the crowds. I missed about a day and a half of my time in Hong Kong because of the Cathay delays slash cancellations. So I'm just trying to make the most of the time I have left and try to fit in as much as possible. Anyways, I'm going to finish up getting ready now. Here is the look for today. Super simple and let's head out. down the hill I think we're gonna take the peak tram again and I think we're gonna go to Central and just try to look for somewhere to eat because the original dim sum place that I had looked at is actually not open anymore also my hair completely flattened out it is so humid here but I think I'm just gonna have to tie it up
Hey everyone, now we are in Causeway Bay. We just took the bus here and we're just walking around just to explore a little bit. around like 12 30 or 1 p.m let me double check 12 40 right now and we did so much stuff already today that we're kind of just walking around we're gonna grab some coffee at winston coffee because that is my dad's name so that'll be pretty cool and then uh, i think we're just gonna go back to the hotel around 6 45 I think this morning and I'm just getting ready because we're gonna go to Bake House this morning to get some Don Tot or egg tarts. Bake House is really known for their egg tarts and apparently they only come out on the hour so we have to go either 8 a.m. 9 a.m. or 10 a.m. and we're gonna try to go at 8 because we both woke up pretty early this morning. Last night was so much fun. It was great to catch up with Christy and Jamie. I haven't seen either of them for like years now. And also that bar and dinner spot that we went to last night, such great places. Those are the kind of places that I like wouldn't have known if I didn't have friends who helped point them out to me. So I'm really glad we went. So today's plan is to spend the morning in Wan Chai, which is where our hotel is, just to explore a little bit because I haven't gotten to walk around here that much yet. And then we're moving hotels actually. We're going to the Kowloon side for the rest of our time in Hong Kong. So we'll be moving hotels at midday. And then we have a dim sum cruise that we booked already. It is so hard to do my eyebrows in the camera. This is my outfit today. It's been so hot and humid in Hong Kong. It's been around like 70 to 80 degrees and it's been very humid. So definitely glad that I brought a lot of like skirts and short sleeves. <laughs> So we just got some pastries from Big House. We got two of the egg tarts and then my dad got a sausage croissant, I think. Sausage roll. Sausage roll. Or sausage roll. <laughs> Here 
is the egg tart. It looks amazing. Mm. Kind of reminds me of a pasta de nata from Lisbon. This is really good. Wow. Ugh. A crust though. back at the hotel and ready to check out because checkout is around noon and we're gonna go to the new hotel which is across in Kowloon. That's And here is the bathroom. Nice. Ooh. Wow, that is a nice view. Hey everyone, so I'm just going for a little walk outside because my dad is resting right now and we have a little bit of time before dinner. There's this egg waffle place that I really wanna go to and they do have a location on the pier. So I'm gonna walk over there and see if there is not a long line, which hopefully there isn't because I know it's a pretty popular place. found a spot to sit and I wanted to try these egg waffles while they're still fresh and warm. I got the chocolate chip and the sweet potato egg waffles and they are still warm so I'm very excited to try them. Here is the chocolate chip one. That's good. <laughs> Okay, now I'm gonna try the sweet potato one. This one is one of their limited 
items and I just saw it right next to the cash register when I was about to order. So I'm really glad that I saw it because I love sweet potato anything. I'm trying to break it off. Ooh, you can already kind of see what the inside looks like. It really tastes like a sweet potato. Like I just eat a sweet potato. So good. Honestly, I'm not really sure which one I like better. They're actually both so good. Like I, I'd need to eat a little bit more of each one to tell, but I am gonna save most of them for dessert later because we are about to eat dinner. I kind of went out on a whim to get these before dinner because I don't know when else I'll be able to get them. So I'm really glad I did and I will bring these back to share with my dad. That being said, I need to head back to the hotel now and get ready for dinner. lighting up you see that one yeah. over on the right it's, it's having a light like show that, yeah I'm... the one on the right is having like a little light show come on well no see that one's doing it too like they're i don't know Morning. It is around 9 a.m. right now and I'm about to meet up with Christy to go to a cafe that I've wanted to go to called Halfway Coffee. It is on the Hong Kong Island side, so I'm gonna take the train to get there. I'm planning to meet her around like 9.30, so I'm running slightly late right now. Or like on time if I leave right now. This is what I'm wearing today. It is a dress from Cezanne and I think Hong Kong is gonna be the warmest place I'm gonna be on this trip, so this is perfect for that. Man, I am like already sweating, but on the bright side, Christy is also running late so it's perfect we should hopefully be there at the same time and now we are at the Chilin Nunnery which is I believe this is a temple that is in the middle of the city and it's extremely gorgeous it is so sunny out here right now I think it's like 80 degrees out actually so I'm trying to get as much shade as possible Estate, which is about like 15 minutes from where we were. It is so hot outside. Yeah. 